you both go in trot. And as soon as you are in trot, you try to lengthen the reins and let the horse stretch forward downward. You keep your hands down, let the horse stretch as much as he wants. Hmm? As much as he wants. He can go to the ground with, the, with his nose. Yeah, that's it. So, in trot rising. This is something too that I think is, is something that we all need to understand because it's coming up in the new test. That, they, that you allow the horse um, to take the reins out of your hands and stretch over his back. So this is something it would be good to start covering now so we, we have some sort of clear understanding as to what's expected in those tests. You can see now how the horse is stretched down and with that their back get like that. And they get more and more supple. If you compare the trot of the chestnut horse today, now, and what you have seen yesterday in the beginning. For me, it's day and night. When you try this yourselves in the beginning, be sure, or not be sure, down. don't worry if the horse goes a little bit faster. There will be things, sometimes it might not happen this easily. Okay, but, but go ahead and take a risk and trust your horse. You can check him a little bit if he starts going too fast. The tempo is very, very important, and, the, and your horses have to learn to come back and wait for you and relax and stay comfortable under your weight and maintain a steady, even tempo. And here you can see that the horses, even when, when they let go of the reins and relax in the hands, the horses are very calm and confident and, and quiet and stay in the same tempo. This allows you then further up in training the ability to be able to let go of the rein and therefore get self-carriage. Starts here.